ファクトリーインターナショナルオンラインサマーフェスティバル2021へようこそ今年も盛りだくさんの内容ですよ IFI スタッフが皆さんへ向けてお送りします楽しんでいってくださいね私も一緒に楽しみたいと思いますそれではフェスティバルスタートです As the dying wave of rock and roll crested into the cultural tsunami known as gaming, one musical group rose to fame by merging these two extraordinary art forms, which, at the time, could not have been any more different. Their names are Robbie Augustine, Rain Gregorio, and Alex Fias. Their shared passion for rock was second only to their passion for video games, but passion can overtake even the strongest of friendships. Their first whiff of fame came from their breakout single, Don't Cosplay With Me, from their seminal debut album, Confunk. Not to be outdone, they quickly followed up with a stunning fusion of kraut rock and Vietnamese pop, Six on the Moon, from their second record, Audubon Me on You. But at their pinnacle, tensions between Augustine and Gregorio boiled over, and the two left acrimoniously in the middle of production of their final album. No advance notice, no hotly discussed social media meltdown, no final show. Their final single, One More Bite, released by sole remaining member Vias, was quickly forgotten in the shuffle. Their retirement was shrouded in mystery, but we have them here tonight. Where have they been, you ask? Gardena, smack dab in the middle of Southern California's suburban heartland, working for a plucky little Japanese RPG publisher called Idea Factory International. I'll have the chance to speak with them later tonight before their performance, and hopefully I'll even get to sneak a peek at their sound check. <laughs> Folks, you are in for a treat. I present to you just one more bite the rise and fall of Electric Bite Orchestra, brought to you by IFI's online store. Hello, everyone! Hi, everybody! Uh, Can you guys hear us? Welcome. Hello? Can you hear us? Sorry, you're gonna see the microphone today. We're wearing masks, so it's kind of like it might be a little harder. It's just a little hard to hear us. Uh, <laughs> welcome everyone to the IFI Summer Event 2021. Uh, the very first, I guess, technically, the summer event. And mm -hmm. uh, we'd like to welcome everyone to this wonderful day! Yay! The fireworks! <laughs> You got, we got a mountain here. We got blue skies. Blue skies with some fireworks. Uh, you guys are probably wondering, hey, what's going on here? Well, we have a couple of surprises just for y'all. Uh, some of those surprises include, includes a couple of announcements. Mm -hmm. We also have awesome giveaways. Giveaways. So uh, make sure you're listening in the chat yes. because uh, we'll be asking giveaway questions today. We're going to do, I don't know how many giveaways, I forgot, but we're going to do a couple of them. <laughs> so, you'll be able to win some of our new merch that we announced um, the last couple weeks. Yes. Uh, and then we also have interviews with Nanameda K, uh, the lead artist of the Mary Skelter mm -hmm. and Death End Request. Yes. And uh, then we'll have um, two more interviews with a few of our staff, and I think you will really enjoy those interviews. Yeah. What else is there? Uh, we also have... A charity auction! A charity auction! Yes! So, this year we are doing another charity auction, which will feature um, art by Tsunako, who is um, the main artist for Neptunia. Yes! And so, uh, once again, all proceeds for the charity auction are going to be going towards UNICEF's fight against the global pandemic, COVID-19. And um, IFI will be matching 100%. So last year, I know you were mentioning, uh, well, I guess within the week, we we're like, oh, we had 10,000. Yeah. The last, good last year. Yeah, last year during the um, charity auction, we were able to um, raise more than $10,000. So hopefully this year we can kind of double it up. Oh, double it. I want double. I want to see doubles. I want to see triple digits, six figures. Let's go, guys. Again, <laughs> the charity auction, the, the, the art that Tsunaka's doing is a one-of-a-kind piece of art. Mm -hmm. You can't get this anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So uh, It'll be printed on acrylic. Um, we have the bidding link in the link below on Twitch. <laughs> I just realized I didn't put the link on YouTube. Sorry. You know we will we will put, put that, that link, link on YouTube. We will update that. <laughs> Things happen. It's all right. Yes, but um, how about we give everybody a little sneak peek oh, of the some of that the, yeah. <laughs> the Tsunako art for the charity auction. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's take a look. Yeah. Oh. So let's uh, let's say hi to Tsunako. Oh, so let's say hi to Tsunako. Tsunako. She has a little message for us today before we show you the little sneak peeks. <laughs> 
go. Also, I, I would also like to point out that Sunako outfit, like ours, we are ve feeling very festive right now. I got the yukata on. Xana has very cool little hair accessories. You want to hear the bell? Oh, bell it up. Bell it, bell it up. It up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you, Sunako, for that lovely message. And also, thank you for uh, helping us out with this cherry option. So, yep. shout out to Sunako. Sunako's yeah. on chat. Let me see the Sunako. Woo! <laughs> I know. Did you see her? Like her yukata was so cute. I loved. I loved her little panda with the yukata. So super cute. cute super All right. Cute. But shall we show you a little sneak peek? You guys want to check out the art? Let's do it. So that was just a part one of three, mm -hmm. of three of the actual entire and uh, by the third one we're actually going to show you the the actual acrylic yes and reveal that to you guys later on yes. the stream mm -hmm. so stay tuned for that yeah so once again it is a one-of-a-kind print you won't be able to purchase it anywhere else except for the charity auction so that's the only way you will be able to get this art featuring neptune and Neptune eating some watermelon in the summer it's, yes, it's yes, yes, beautiful yes. and we can't wait to keep showing you more of the progression of the drawing oh, yeah. so it's so cool super stoked but yeah i i'm really excited i can't I'm I, hope, I hope i hope you guys are excited we haven't chat. even started yet we're showing art we're showing we're showing mountains we're Ooh. showing everything right now oh thanks for the host uh, b behind robbie's head thank you pick a quest yes all right um you know you know yes sorry i was just <laughs> <laughs> so Shall we move on to the next thing? Yeah, let's move on. Yeah, let's uh What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? On the trailer, Sorry, Death on Request 2 will now be coming out on the Nintendo Switch, and that is the second installment of the Death on Request series. Uh, Death on Request 1 is also on the Nintendo Switch, so if you just if you are a Nintendo Switch owner and you want to play the sequel, now you can do that on the go as well mm -hmm, with the mm -hmm. Death on Request 2. Um, did you mention the DLC? Uh, yes. Uh, so in the in Death on Request 2 for the Nintendo Switch. All DLC paid and free from the previous, from the original release uh, for the PlayStation 4, will be included on the Nintendo Switch for free. Yay! Baby. That's so, included. Yeah, on cart. So it's kind of like almost like a full, like complete right, kind of right, like edition right, right, for right. Death and Request 2 on the Nintendo Switch. So you get all the goods in there. So uh, yes, yeah, so if you want to explore the mountainous Leshuar town. Mm -hmm. 
and also explore the lurky nights. Mm-hmm. That Fan Request <laughs> 2 is for you. Oh, did you mean to rhyme? No, I didn't. Oh, dang, you must be a rapper. I am a poet laureate. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, shout out to Death Fan Request 2. I know a lot of people are stoked about the series. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. I'm, I'm really stoked for it to come on Nintendo Switch. So. Yes, so um, 2022, remember that. You want to know why? You want to know why I'm telling you Tell us. to remember 2022? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> so um, we mentioned earlier that we will be doing giveaways. So we're gonna do the first giveaway Woo! already. Wow, are we just like we're not even? Like, I wish I had like in yet. the time like, I'm having a like a little uh, bell here. Woo! Oh oh oh! <laughs> But, um, yeah, so we'll be um, doing the first giveaway really quick. So, basically, um, if it's your first time at our live streams, we're going to be doing um, a answer the question, and then someone will choose a winner. Um, the first prize will be, I guess that. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> is this the, it's this one. No? Yes. So... The first prize on my piece of paper fell. So for the first giveaway, we'll be giving away a Neptunia Goddesses t-shirt. Whoa. Um, we'll be choosing a winner from both um, Twitch and YouTube. Mm-hmm. So all you have to do is just answer a question. And then, oh, look at the green screen is going to Bert. Oh, Hi, Bert. No. She's part of the mountain. But um, Yeah, so we'll be giving away this Neptunia Goddess t-shirt um, to two people today. And we'll be, like I said, we'll be selecting a winner from YouTube and Twitch. Yes. And so, what is the question for the giveaway today? When will Death and Request 2 for the Nintendo sw- Switch, Switch come out? Give us the year that we pointed out on the trail. Oh, thank you, Mindless Baka! Yeah, so we, there it Let is. Let me see that number. Alrighty. And, you know, so we're wearing Yukatsas today, right? You so, gotta. <laughs> You gotta for the summer festival. Yes, yes. And um, we wanted to also take the time to for this event to celebrate Japanese culture. We yes. are a publisher for Japanese titles, so um, throughout this live stream, we're gonna kind of sprinkle little like cultural bits here and there. Right, right, super stuff. And yeah, and honestly, like putting on this these yukatas were were no joke, no joke. Was not a piece of cake. Well, no. actually, I can't speak for you, but mine, I just did it in like five minutes, but. Hopefully yeah, no, mine's like a whole thing. I don't know. You let's... guys want to learn or see how we put on these yukatas? The thing is, these yukatas that we're wearing are actually like more modernized versions. Right, so right. they're kind of like a shortcut version. Shortcut but yukata. um, if you want to see what it looks like. Let's dive in. Oh, look. We're, oh, we're, we're, in. In. <laughs> we're in it. We're in it. Oh, shoot. This is how to wear a yukata. Yeah, for the women's yukata. Yeah. I'm noticing in the women's yukata it's more intricate. Like I love the designs of yours. In comparison to mine, mine's kind of like a more of like a blank. Yeah. Usually like the, the women's yukata have like really nice like prints. Mm-hmm. And they're usually like super bright colors. And there's a lot of stuff to put them on. Right. So like I I I couldn't do it by myself now actually, who is helping us. With Shout out to now for helping us out. Helps us put it together. But um, yeah, there's a whole process. Like you have to put like a waist rope. It's called a kushihimo to um hold the yukata together. And then basically you're tying it. You tie it around, and then you have to put another one, which you'll see in the next step. Because we're for some reason just so ahead of this. So today I've been saying that the kushihimo is kind of like the muscle that holds. Oh, the, the muscle. I said that today. I'm very amazed that I said that. Ooh, but I like the, the muscle. It kind of keeps it in place. Yeah. And like it's funny because um. The women's yukata, it's like kind of like really long, so we have to like fold it. So because right, I'm right. a I'm a tiny person, but <laughs> you can kind of fold it in order to kind of make it to your height. Which I thought is you were 6'4", but I guess that's tiny. Oh, you know that is tiny. 6'4 is tiny. Oh, sorry, you would consider me a tiny titan. Yeah. <laughs> true, 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 true. Yeah. So Rob didn't get a fancy hair ornament. No fancy hair ornament. He doesn't. I'm sorry. He doesn't really have good hair anymore. I don't. It's it's gone, it's gone, yeah. fellas. Um, so when you are putting on the yukata, it's really important that when you look straight on to the yukata, it looks like a Y, like the, right, the crossing right. over. Mm-hmm. Because if you have it the other way, 
it will basically be like a yukata for the dead. That's a Dikembe no right there, baby. <laughs> no, no. This keeps your belly very warm. But yeah, so like, you know the obi? So the one, like we said, we're wearing like modernized yukatas. So, but the original obi is like a long ribbon. Right, right. And then you have to tie it and make a whole bow. But we kind of cheated. And we have like, just like the bow on right, the back and just right. one belt. Oh, look, I'm done. It looks great. Oh, it thanks. Looks wonderful. And then you can wear sandals. They're called genta. Genta. Sandals. That's very cool. Oh yeah, the men's yukata. Watch, 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 watch. This is like so much... So much quicker. So much quicker. We have David, the IFI marketing manager here, getting dressed up for the occasion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Fits like a glove. Sorry, was the video too loud? I wish we, I wasn't looking at the chat. My bad. Closer Demo, <laughs> same thing for the women, so now for the men's. Tie right above. So with, uh, I'm noticing with like the obi belt, um, it's a lot lower. Yeah, so for men it sits like kind of like right above like the hip bone. Right, right. As for like the women's, as you can see, mine's like all the way up here. Rawr! But yeah, so but it's like super quick. Like I think you're, I think he's done. Nice. So that's how Rob got ready earlier. Good. Oh, that's supposed to go in front. That's currently behind me. Oh, wait, no, it's going behind. Okay, cool. <laughs> Mine's still the same. Oh, you thought you put it on yeah. wrong? <laughs> I thought I put it right on, but it looks like I did it right. Yay! Wow, Man look at him fan himself. You know, it's summer, it's a hot day. The Japanese sandals. There you go. Oh, my toes would go outside of those sandals. Mine, mine kind of did. Woo! <laughs> Yay, now I'm we're ready! ready. Woo! Woo! All right. So... Let's see. Oh, nice. All right, cool. So we're going to announce the winner. And let's see. The winners are... Wow, Shay, like, just take a look at those Neptunia HDD chibi enamel pins. Like, wow. Oh, my gosh. They're, they're shiny. They're enamel. Look you, at them. You know what else, Shay? What else, Amanda? You can match the pins with your Neptunia Goddess t-shirt. The Neptunia Goddess t-shirt? Yes. You know, we've got that coming up on our store. It's going to be $27.99. And you want to hear the sizes? Sure. Tell we've me. got small. We've got medium. Oh. We've got large. Oh. We've got XL. We've got 2XL. We've got 3XL. Wow. Look at all the sizes. Wow. What a range! Anyone could wear it! Oh my goodness. You know, Xanda. Yes, Shay. You know what the people like. What do they like? What the people love. What do they love? What the people need and desire. What is it that they need and desire, Shay? Mary Skelter! Mary Skelter! And right here, we've got the Mary Skelter finale wall scroll. Wow, and it has a roll call image of Look basically that. all of the maidens. Blood maidens. Roll call! Roll call! So this wall scroll is 24 by 32 inches. Whoa! That's huge. 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 Whoa. And how much is it, Shay? It? The price? Well... Uh... Hello? Price? Price check! Price check! Thirty-four ninety-nine. Isn't that amazing? Thirty-four ninety-nine. What an amazing deal! Truly. Truly, and this is huge! It's huge! Thank you, staff, by the way. Thank you. Thank you! Yes! Wow. And you know what it's part of? What is it part of? The Mary Skelter <gasps> Collection! The Mary Skelter Collection! Look at all this. Look at all That's this! Like, wow! Where do we even start? How about right here? Wow, yeah. We have the Mary Skelter Finale Charms. Oh, wow, look at this. They are 3.5 inches. Wow. That is huge, and you know what else? They're transparent! Oh my gosh, you can see through them! Wow, look at that! Look at that! I think that's a bird over there! Oh man, and I see a plane! And is that? What is it? It's what? Mary Skelter! Sk Mary Skelter finale charms! And you know what? What? They are $14.99. $14.99. Mm -hmm. Okay. But 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 if you get the full set of 12, and okay. that's 12, that's one of each blood maiden. If you get a set of 12, mm -hmm. it's 
$149.99. $149.99? Yes, and you want to know what that means? What does that mean, Xanda? You get two free. Two free? You get two of these bad boys for free if you get the full set. One, two. One, two. You know what else that means? What? That means? What does it mean? Free shipping. Free shipping. You get free shipping. Free shipping. Store.ifi.games. Free shipping. Free shipping if you get all of these, if you get the collection. Yes. Also, if you just make a purchase over fifty-seven ninety-nine, it's free shipping. Free shipping. So you know if you get want. Get a few of these. Yeah, if you if you don't want the full set and oh, you want you. maybe like half of them. Half, yeah. Does that equal fifty-seven ninety-nine? Sounds like it. Oh sure. I'm no mathematician, but Did I you? could be. Oh wow! Wow, what dreams to reach. That sounds great. Wow. Look at those dreams. Wow, look at those there dreams. There they go. There they go. Oh, wow, they escaped yep. you. So I guess mathematician isn't in our future. But no, you know. But we've got. We've got Mary, Mary Skelter, Skelter finale, finale charms. charms. We also have the Mary Skelter to art standees. Wow. Right here. Look at them. Wow, there are nine of them. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can wow. count. Wow, maybe I should maybe be a mathematician. Maybe. Here goes the dreams. They're wow, coming they're back. Coming they're coming back. back. Oh my god, welcome back, dreams. You know, you don't want them to escape again, so let's just keep them. No. You know what else? What else? These guys are not wow. small. No, They're not them. small. They're Look at that. They are seven inches wow. wide. Wow. And then they are about 3.5 inches tall, a little oh. bit more than 3.5. Yeah. Not quite four inches, but you know, Pretty just kind of in between. Mm -hmm. And they're just huge. And they also have these amazing little bases. I don't know if you can really see yeah. it. Uh, maybe we'll do like a little. And they all have their name individually yeah. on each one. Isn't that nice? Just in case you forget. Why don't you just rock red riding hood on your desk? Wow. Put it on your desk. Put it on your shelf. Put it on your bed. Sleep with it. Do whatever you want. You know, Xanda. What? If you really want to make a statement. What? You should get the Hamlin charm. The Hamlin charm? The Hamlin charm. Wow, so if you want to make a statement, but you're also kind of feeling melancholy, just get Hamlin and Red Riding Hood. Put that on your earrings. Ooh. Let's see, what does it look like next to my ear? Oh, oh. Oh, is it, am I making a statement? Is, yep, statement, statement. Oh, but all of these items go live when? today. Today? At noon. Today, noon where? Noon Pacific time at huh? store.ifi.games. Store so make sure you keep an eye on the timer on the side okay. there next to Shay. It's going down. Wow, if you are a Mary Skelter fan, mm -hmm. this collection's for you. Truly. Truly. You know, Xanda. Huh? I have a question. What? Do you like ninjas? I like ninjas. Yeah. Uh, sorry. What we don't, the we, heck was that? We don't really know what happened, but the winners are. Yes. Who are the, who are the winners for the giveaway again? We have the dark, winners. Dark alien. So the winner for Twitch for the Neptunia Goddesses t-shirt. Yes, yes. Oh man, it's like really going in. Can I just, okay, it's not working. But the winner on the Twitch side yes. is... Dark Alien. Dark Alien Dark on alien. Twitch. Dark Alien on Twitch. Not the light alien, the dark alien. The Let's dark go. alien on Twitch. Maybe do we need to like at you? Dark Alien on Twitch. Dark Alien, Congratulations. Um, Send us a DM yes. on or a whisper on Twitch. We'll try and message you as well, but it'd be good it, if it's you a get kind back of to a crisis, us. eh? <laughs> Just a little crazy. Um and then the winner on YouTube. Boom Samu. How do you say Moom? So for the the winner on YouTube is Moom Bamu. Moon Bamu. M O O M B A M O O. Go Moon! It's your birthday. Congrats! Oh, I thought you were gonna keep going, and uh. I started dancing. Then you kind of left me hanging there. Go Moon! Congratulations! Um, if you are a winner on YouTube, there is no like DM system there, so please send us a DM on Twitter and let us know that you were the winner from the live stream today. And remember, you won a Neptunia Goddesses t-shirt and just let us know what size. We have um, small to 3XL. Yep, yep. So just let us know your size. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that was the first giveaway winner, huh? Yeah, we got more to come. Yes. There's still more, fellas. There's mm -hmm. still more. All right, so up next is um, the, our first interview yes. of today, and it is with 
the wonderful Mary Skelter finale lead artist Kay Nanameda. Very so. Productive. He's also known for working on um, Death and Request, Mugen Souls, Trillion. So he's done a lot of Idea Factory titles. Right. And today we are going to be spotlighting um, Kay Nanameda, especially since uh, the Mary Skelter trilogy is coming to an end so yes. this is going to be a special mary skelter a very special treat. treat yes so um yeah so we're gonna head on over to jail oh no to go visit k yeah <laughs> we're gonna be going to jail to visit k Nanameda in a tent in the middle of jail mm -hmm. um i don't know if that's safe hopefully fingers crossed but um let's jump right in all right let's let's get it
okay, wow. Mama Hater. Thank you what so much. What a trip. My hair, I had to tie my hair up when I got there just because it, <laughs> it was so tiring to get to jail, man. Kate Alameda, you are very much uh, near and dear to us, so thank you for giving us yes. the time to actually answer some of the questions. Mm -hmm. And hopefully that kind of helped you guys. I, I know he was talking a lot about the kind of like the artistry and, and being an artist mm -hmm. and kind of going more in depth and how to kind of expand your design, but also being business savvy and being kind yes. of well-rounded as a designer. So yes. for any designers and artists out there, hopefully uh, you enjoy that. And also... We will have the full interview later uh, on mm -hmm. our, our channels. Yeah, so that was only partial of the interview. We will have the full thing um, on our YouTube channel. We will be uploading it um, sometime later, either later today or by the end of the week. So Stay you'll be able to see all of his answers to a bunch of questions. Yeah. I think we have like 10, 11, 12, just keeps counting, yeah, questions. There's, there's, yeah, there's a good amount. <laughs> yeah, I so... Yeah. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah, so I guess, yes, you know what time it is? What, wait, what time? <laughs> Isn't it like, it's 11 o'clock, what do you mean? Oh, well, I have a question for you. What was that? Now it's time for me to interview you. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. shoot, shoot, yeah. shoot. Do you like ninjas? You mean shinobis? <laughs>皆さん、ネプテューヌシリーズプロデューサーの水野です。皆さんお元気でしたか約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約約
of the Neptune of the Neptunia Sanwan Kagura Ninja Wars. Let's get it. <laughs> So we will be showing you 10 minutes of gameplay. Right. I will be playing for 10 minutes. That's longer than most of our live streams when I try to play any game. That's very true, very true. <laughs> 10 minutes so, of goodness, so hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. Yeah, and, uh, so yeah. yeah, we'll be um, hopping in for um, 10 minutes, and uh, we hope that you enjoy it. Let me just get my controller, hang on. I Stay hope, immersed. I hope, I'm, I hope I'm ready for this. Also, I might die. I was practicing, and I... <laughs> I died. It's while okay. I was playing. If you do die, you know what? It's all about. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this, but <laughs> it's a okay with us, Vanda. All righty. So we're gonna go in for ten minutes of Nep uh, Nep Ninja, basically. So are you guys ready for this? All right. So we're gonna hop on in. So I'm going to be. So um, this game is actually uh, co-developed with Tamsoft, so it's going to be an action RPG, right. hack and slash. And I will be playing as Purple Heart and Asuka from the Sanon Kagura series. Yes. And when you play as uh, the goddesses, um, you can only play, you like, in battle, you play as Purple Heart. Right, but right. then she does show up in the game. In her team. I love the fact that everything is super fast paced. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And the gameplay is super fast paced. Um, and right now, it looks like you're, you're kind of Going on yeah, right so right there, that is the ninja, uh, the ninja skill, like trigger, ninja trigger, ninja right. skill, skill, ninja whatever, you know, that along those three. Right. <laughs> but um, One of those. basically, it gives you the opportunity to snap and combo ninja skills, and basically after you do the first initial attack, you can combo a second ninja skill. Can you lower down the game audio? It looks like people are... Oh, down. is it hard? Is it, is it loud? I'm so sorry. It might be. Hang on. You just have to scroll down. Yeah, so you can, um, yeah. <laughs> turn it down. Sorry about that. All right, I was like, I just wanted things. to hear the music, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so then you can basically stack the different ninja skills, and when you do, it gives you different buffs. So if you see right above the HP gauge, you see some buffs happening there. Right. Yeah, so then that happens when you stack the ninja skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has that red aura, so it looks like her attack is up right yeah. now. And then also you have like, you know, the shinobi, uh, like the, the ninja weapon. So you have kunai, and then you can also change it up over the shuriken, and there is a, a cooldown when you use them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, big metallic boy coming through. Good time here, little then, boys. You know what, what we like to say at IFI? What do we say? I don't know. We like we like to say we like, <laughs> no we like to say that things are seamless, say? right? We All like to right. say seamless gameplay. Yes. We'll seamless watch this gameplay. seamless. Watch. I'm watching. Woo! I am now Look at that. Woo! Look at that. Switching it up. Yeah. So you can actually switch between the characters um, on command at any time using the directional button down, Very and cool. then you can also, um, but you can only control two characters at a time, and then you'll change it in the menu. Also, there is a stamina gauge, if you can see on the bottom there. So do regular attacks also be it looks like it's No, it's building it's, it's it up. Building it. Yes, okay. But when you use the skill, it'll use the stamina. Gotcha, gotcha. And then also when you dash, it uses a stamina bar. Does the shuriken and the kunai also deplete stamina as well as you throw it? Let's see. No. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> there nice. you go. And then, so there's also like a little red gauge going around the character profile. Um, when you have that gauge fill up completely, you'll be able to do a special... Ooh, I'm excited to see that. Let's see. Who's closer? Oh, let's do Purple Heart. Flash him. Dice him. Ooh! Also, um, if you need help getting your um, gauge built up, when you block, when you guard, it also will bring up your gauge. So my gauge oh. oh, you want to see the special skill? Let's do it! Okay, let me go to this pool. Oh. oh, ready? <laughs> he's like, he's just getting up like, wait, I want to fight still. JK! Woo! Dog. Yes. Nice. So then we can like go see the characters. This game, I mean like, 
just the pacing of it. I know we were mentioning this is an action RPG. I love the pacing of it. It's super, mm -hmm. it's super high octane, super fast paced. Mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully, uh, action RPGs and happy slash. Oh nope, no spoilers today. Not for you. No spoilers. You just gotta play no the game dialogue. in 2021. All right, so we're gonna do a little mini boss fight right now. Cyborg ninja. All right, so there's another another special um, like gameplay component. It's called Pudding Kazan. So that's basically like fire, mountain, like forest, wind. Right. I didn't other say elements. I didn't say it in the right order, but um, basically when you do this um, special gameplay mechanic, you're able to use Pudding Kazan. You hold the trigger. And then basically you can go into like wind, fire, mountain, um, forest mode, and each thing does a different thing. So if you go into, let's say you go into wind, that's going to up your ninja skills, or um, fire is going to up your attack, uh, mountain is defense, and then um, forest is healing. Okay. But the only other thing is that when you use them, there's also debuffs that go with each thing. Mm, so you, you aren't just going to be... and a negative. Yeah, so then we can actually... Let's show uh, Michael Hart going to it. Her outfits are really cool. So let's do some attack. Oh! So now my attack is going to be up. But I think I take more damage now. Unless you don't get hit. So far, so good. I think this guy is just like amazed by his, your outfit. He's just kind of like. He's just like, oh, she's glowing she's red. Glowing oh, someone red. said, let it burn. Gotta let it go. Yeah, I was kind of stunned by your outfit. <laughs> and then also, Asuka can do it as well. So all the characters um, are able to do it. So then let's do ninja skill. So her outfit will change as well. So bam! Cool. Yeah, and then there is like a, a time limit as well. Oh, I am doing horrible. There we go. I am doing horrible. But like, it looks like they're not liking your outfit because they're attacking you here. So. And then you can still do your special bit. Also, when you're when you're a Kenobi, you gotta have your your sweater vest ready, you know. <laughs> ready to fight. <laughs> nice. Nice. Stage clear. Yeah. For this section, at least. Oh no, I think we still have a little mini. Oh, uh, ah, there we go. Those are guns, baby. Yeah, so then let's see. Let's try... Let's do... What did I do before? Let's try and do healing. I guess I didn't really have to. But basically, if you're low on health, you can go into this healing. And then... Bam. Look at her outfit. It's so cool. It's green. Oh, that heals really nicely. <laughs> yeah, see, everyone's stunned by her outfit again. Oh, oh my god. Purple heart. Are you a fashion icon? Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! Alright, let's keep going. I don't know if I'll make it to the boss, but... What about the fans? They want to see the boss. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be moving. If you guys want to see time. the boss, let me see those ones in the chat. Let's go! Alright, let's just go to it. Let's just get it. Let's just skip those fools and we'll go right into it. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, nope, no spoilers no today. Spoilers. So I might die here. I died earlier, so we'll see how it goes. So here's a little get this going. Oh, smack. Also, that guy was not phased. <laughs> he kinda just stood and like, yes. I accept your attack. And I'll counter with a slash! Ooh. Did you carry that? I, I don't know, did I? I don't know. I wasn't. <laughs> it looks like I'm you moving so it. fast. Okay, let's see if this is okay. Okay, Oh no, mode. where'd he go? Fire mode. Looks like you got him locked. Uh oh. Oh, we gotta go heal. We uh -oh. should heal. We should Are we heal. Gonna, uh oh. Alright, let's just. Uh oh. Am I not gonna make it? Uh oh. Let's uh. I hit the wrong button. I wanted to go into the healing, but let's just hope that we oh, get this. Looks like he crit. Uh oh, watch out oh, for the no. projectiles. Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! Oh my god! I'm scared! Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna die. Let's uh. 
Let's, uh, oh, there it is. Does this heal me? There it is! Give me them heals, baby! I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. There you go. Build up stamina up. Woo! Come on, let's get this. We're almost there. Can we get this up? Is it possible? I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god! Ron Pagra Ninja Wars wow. coming out in 2021 for the PlayStation 4. That was really intense. My heart is like... Super stoked that he got that last attack <laughs> okay. at the end. I was like, I'm not gonna make it. Am I gonna go over 10 minutes? I was like, no! That's what you call a golissimo. <laughs> Wow, that was thank really, you, thank you, Zana, really, for showing yeah, that out. That was wow. cool to see I'm the, sorry, the like, we'll be able to go in more depth in the future. Um, when it is closer to the release, we hope that will be that that has gotten you very hyped for it. Yes. We're really excited for it. So yeah, keep an eye out for more information. It's coming this year, 2021 for PlayStation. That 4. said, we and are going to be doing. Are we doing another giveaway? Yeah, we're doing another giveaway. Let's go with giveaways, baby. Yes, another giveaway. So the um giveaway this time around is you can choose, um. Two of any of the HDD acrylic acrylic chibi charms. So you can yes. choose two characters. Um, we have a bunch. Um, we have it up on our online store. Store. store I I Sorry, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. One, two, three. Store. store I I games. games. And you can choose between which characters you want. There's all the goddesses. So then you'll be able to choose two characters, and we're gonna choose two winners. Yes. So um, we'll choose one from YouTube and one from twitch so um what is the question the question is when will neptunia seven power ninja wars mm -hmm. come out for the playstation 4 give us the year the year thank you <laughs> give beloved us the something year. what is your name beloved yes Sons? give us the year all right did you like the music in the game i love the music I loved in the it. game i felt like i was in like you don't I was definitely Japan. transported into another yeah. world that I was not familiar with. I was like, yeah, oh. and like you, like making and playing music is not easy. It's, it's not. hard. It's a tough one. You're probably wondering where we're going with this. So wow. I don't. I don't. Oh, you don't. You're not wondering. <laughs> no, where wait. We're going sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know where you're going with this. Oh, is so what I'm saying. Basically, um, you know, this is also a cultural event. Yes. Um, Rob and I. <laughs> Learn how to play Japanese instruments for this live stream. Just for y'all. So um, while you are trying to do the giveaway here, we're going to play a nice little clip of us at, where were we? We were at Habia Okinawan Restaurant located in Tustin, California. Mm -hmm. uh, so today we are going to show you a clip of myself and Xana learning how to play the Sanshin, which is a Okinawan, uh, kind of like a banjo. And also the taiko, yes. uh, which is a, the, the drum, yes. the rhythm section of the Okinawa. We learned like a whole song. We did it learn a whole of, song. Yeah, so should we just Let's get jump it? right in it. Hello, my name is Robbie, and I'm here in Tustin, California in the beautiful Okinawan restaurant named Habuya. Uh, today we are seen here by very special guests, uh, Yoshi-san and Ryoji-san. They're here to talk about Okinawan music. You're going to show me so, the starting notes of the song, right? Yeah, okay. sure. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's start. So it, it go, starts from the open string. Mm -hmm. It's a good start. From the top? Yeah. One, two, three. Thank 
you so much. <laughs> this is Yoshi-san from the Grukuns, and this is the Sanshin. So thank you so much, Yoshi, for, for teaching me. Oh, no, thank Hopefully you. I can play with the band later on. Sure, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Hello, everyone. It's Xanda. I'm actually going to be learning how to play taiko with um, Ryoji-san from Grukuns. So this is Hiradaiko. It's a bass, bass drum, bass taiko. OK, let's hit this one. This is Shime Daiko with a rope tune. All right, Shime Daiko. First, I like to do um, say Bavari. Uh huh. Don is bass drum. Don is bass drum. Yes. Don. Yes. Okay. And let's say Ka is uh, Shime uh, higher. Ka. Yeah. Okay. So um, the rhythm first going like this. Don don ka ka don. And then we hit three times. Don, don, don. Okay. Right. Now we can have Yoshi help us with Sanshin. Robbie and I can play together in the next clip. So wish us luck. Yay! One, two, one, two, three! Back. I mean, yeah. yes! We are back, so I'm glad I'm, we're seeing <laughs> some positive, uh, some positive feedback. Dude, that was too. like so hard to just my face was just like I'm that gonna mess time. up. I don't play drums. I don't play instruments. Also, so it was if you really look closely, scary. we're all sweating like crazy. No, it, it was so hot. It was a hot day. <laughs> We were sweating, and it was it was it was a magical time. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Habuya Okinawan Restaurant in mm -hmm. Tustin. Uh, they make awesome Okinawan uh, treats. Uh, if you guys are interested, head on over to Tustin, and uh, they'll help you out right there. Yeah. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Grukuns mm -hmm. for helping us out and learning how to play the the Sanshin and the Taiko. So yeah, and then we'll so have much. a full video. Um, we actually had to do a full interview with um, Ryoji-san and Yoshi-san on Okinawan music and Okinawan like uh, like instruments and everything. Mm -hmm. And we'll have that all uploaded on our YouTube. So if you're really interested in learning more, we'll have that on our YouTube channel. Stay tuned for that, yes. yes. So uh, yeah, I guess we could choose the, we can announce oh, yes. the winners. Sorry, yes, we, did a, yes. we did a giveaway before this, yeah? So let me look at what, who the winners were. All right, you want to say the Twitch winner? So the Twitch w winner, is Jade okay? Jade. Underscore okay. Congrats. Jade underscore okay. Jade. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Jade. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Yep. All right. All mm -hmm. right. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> so you can win. Um, so you get to choose between um, all of the different goddesses and choose two characters that you like. Yes. So uh, congratulations, Jade. Okay. And mm -hmm. then um, the next, the YouTube winner, is. Ellie Wood Boy. Yes. Ellie Wood Boy. Ellie Wood Boy. Yes. 
please send us oh i just hit my glasses oh my god please send us a uh, dm on twitter let us know which characters you'd like do we give ellie wood boy a little bit of a song we just gave jade okay a little bit of a song ellie wood boy boy you is my boy boy i want to chill with ellie wood boy Ooh, hey! man, that was really nice of you <laughs> This spider is, ring on? I do have a spider ring on. What's that? Where, where did that come from? Spider-Man, baby. Wow. The man spider, sorry. All right. So, um, I don't know if you were able to see our announcement last night, but we are having a special performance today from Electric by Orchestra. I'm excited. Yeah, because you're, you're in the band. We're finally reunited. Yes, we are reunited. We are back. You were gone yeah. for two so, weeks. So, Electric by Orchestra consists of Alex, Rain, and Robbie. All you really know is me, but you'll find out soon enough. But, so. um, yeah, so we're going to go into the first um, interview segment and performance for Electric by Orchestra. We hope that you enjoy this. We have some talented people. I got to get ready. Yeah, go. All right, see Thanks so much for joining Wait, us. Wait, shut up, hold on. Can you, is that cool? Is my stash cool? Hmm? No, not yours, I'm talking about mine. Rain Gregorio, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Well, you already said my name. Alex Vias. Can I call you Mr. Vias? Uh, I mean, we work together. Uh, Alex is fine. Okay, could you tell us your role in the band? What band are you talking about? Uh, Electric Bite Orchestra. Oh my God. Some say I'm the visionary. What well, wasn't my, my role in the band? I'm a singer. Multi-instrumentalist. Say an instrument right now. A songwriter. Tuba. I know how to play it. I'm a dreamer. Say another one. Saxophone. Know how to play it. A lot of that stuff gets lost in the wash, you know? Nobody wants to hear about Ringo. But yeah, mostly a lot of the writing and, and recording and stuff. Kind of on the back end, I guess. I wanted to ask you about when you met Rain and Alex. Uh, we met in the lovely city of Gardena, South Bay. I, I remember it was a day. I get a call from my friend Alex. He tells me it's blues night at the desert room, Sunday. See, Sunday's for me or anime night. Maybe I'll call my friend Rain, mm -hmm. who also plays guitar. He had been playing for 12 years. It's a lights off, headphones on kind of thing, you know what I mean? Popcorn from the microwave, you know? Three years at El Camino and like three years at Pasadena City College and then, you know, the other six at Long Beach City. So it's Guitar 101 for 12 years really music school i don't really know but uh, that's what he did so robbie invites me to the desert room after uh he, ha he had a pretty bad day he was mm. working a convention in downtown la and he had just gotten broken up with mm. well i wouldn't say dumped per se but i mean let me i say hey the hell sure i'll go bring my guitar walked into the bar it was desert room and these two guys were just like Hitting the licks. I go to the desert room, my favorite bar, some Jamook and an orange bandana comes up to me. I saw them on stage and I was like, I gotta be in there. Rob came in pretty hot. Rob gets on stage and starts rapping the verse from Don't Cosplay Me. Mm. And starts rapping over my song. And I think to myself, wow, this guy. But next thing I know, I'm in a band with him. Because he kind of felt like he got played by a cosplayer. Mm. His ex-girlfriend was into cosplay. Oh. Uh, but that kind of like, you know, th that was, felt like a little bit of magic or something. And mm. next thing you know, we started playing shows pretty mm. shortly after that. Imagine going to music school, training for 12 years, blood, sweat, and tears. Can you bow with me? I, in three, I really don't want to. Three, two, one. It's okay, you can be, do you need help? I can... Yeah. yeah. Wait, Garcon, can we get some guys on set to pick up the notes? Quickly? Without further ado, from their debut album, Confunk, here is Electric Bike Orchestra with their first hit, Don't Cosplay With Me. Take it away, boys!
Y'all to aim on me Baby girl, it's plain to see You the only cooter neck for me Got manga, I got anime But you the game I'm trying to play You been the witness, I got the sickness All I need now is your prescription Umami, unagi, we sake, we party You already know what it is We body to body, AX after party You already know what it is I call you my mommy, I ask you what are we I don't think I know what this is She rocked me, then blocked me, I tell her I'm sorry I thought that you wanted a kiss Damn, 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 girl. Damn, girl. Fuck. Magical girl, you make up my world. Just don't cosplay with me. Just say you're gonna stay with me. I got a table at Artist Ali. I say meow, 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 meow. You say meow, 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 meow. Where, what's it gonna be, girl? Would you pick the devil? Whoa, 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 dang, dang, are you like the master Thank at you quick guys. changes? Thank you so much for, for checking me out, uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, myself at Electric Black Orchestra, uh, thank you Rain Alex for uh, kind you know, of there, You me still have more to go, are, are you just going to do this after every performance? You know, I just might, <laughs> you know, it's kind of important to make note that I'm important, you know yeah? what I'm saying, so, but okay. yeah, thank you, thank you Rain Alex, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, dang, like, did you wear a wig? Yeah, I had a, you know, it's actually tucked in this hat. Oh, dang, all up in that hat? It's in there. I just pushed it up. Uh, 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 Leave-on conditioner is what they call it. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, um, you know what? You know what time it is? What time is it? I think it's time. Is it game time? No, it's not. <laughs> I think it's time to uh, check on the charity. Oh, yes. What? What is? What? Damn, are, damn it! Give us the bid. Really? So right now the bid for the charity auction is at twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred. Wow! Amazing. We're at twelve hundred. That's US dollars, by the way. And you know, how about we show everyone the second yes. um, video for the charity auction? So let's take another. Sunako high. Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh, it's looking amazing. That's only part two. Is it looking amazing? It's looking I can't, great. I can't wait for you to see what it looks like completely colored. That's going to be in the last video. So we are super excited for that. Super Remember, stoked. so the bidding, the link for the bid is below. And also, just to let you know, um, the bidding will be up until next Wednesday. Yes, yes. And then um, 
by next Wednesday, I believe it ends at 10 a.m. I, I, we'll help with the double check. Mm -hmm. But then um, the winning bid will get 72 hours yes. to pay for it or else we're going to go to the next highest bid. Just yes. so you know. But remember, all proceeds goes to charity. This is a good cause. I think mm -hmm. uh, it's a good opportunity to receive a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork by uh, Sunako herself, mm -hmm. legendary artist for Neptunia. So. Yeah, she was so excited to draw this. Like Every time we ask her to like do like a you know special art she always like blows us away right, we give right. her like a small detail and she just goes up and beyond like she loves her yeah, character we emailed she her, loved... I was like can you draw a circle and she gave us this which is amazing <laughs> like I, we didn't have to say much and she she delivered she so. was like a circle yeah that reminds me of a watermelon <laughs> and then she was just and like, was like hmm, oh wow synapses. maybe what if i cut that watermelon in half i can feed it to two sisters right 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 huh. right there but, it is yeah so that's kind of where we are on with the charity okay, option. So part um, three coming up soon. Yes, and um, you know what? I'm gonna ask this again. Do you know what time it is, Rob? I've been saying game time. So hopefully, is it game time? It's now? game time, baby. Let's go.
stupid parasite is coming to the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Look at this, like, our green screen is, like, really funny. <laughs> uh, but uh, hopefully, I mean, a lot of Atomi fans have been sitting in chat waiting for this, so hopefully the wait is uh, well-deserved. Uh, we're super excited to be doing an Atomi title, and we're super excited to be kind of reliving. Speaking of reliving, next to me is a very special guy. Yeah. He is the localization lead editor just for Keep It Saturday, yeah. Parasite. Parasite. <laughs> Parasite. <laughs> All right. Hi, Tommy. Rain Gregorio. Yay. Hey. Yes, Rain Gregorio, lead uh, localization lead for Keep It Parasite. We have him here today. And um, we're just going to have a little tiny, short little interview. We're all kind of snug, like right next to just each hanging? other right yeah, now. We're just okay. like, look, just you guys, fun he's wearing a new cap though. Yeah, yeah, I watched your tutorial. Oh, are you, hot? Just, uh, are you hot right now? Yeah. yeah oh, wait, just, you watched the tutorial I watched and then the put tutorial? that on? I did, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm really, you. really impressed. Yeah, so. Wow. So, um, you know, not everyone knows what Cupid Parasite mm -hmm. is for um, Otome fans, right? Mm -hmm. So can you give us just a little bit of like, what is Cupid Parasite about. Oh man, well it's a lot of fun to start it. So Cupid Parasite is a game where you take control of Lynette Mir and uh -huh. she is a bridal advisor at a company called the Cupid Corporation. Oh, Cupid Corp. And, yeah, and she's, you know, gunning for her big promotion and mm -hmm. so she has a, a mission to find love for these five kind of hopeless romantic dudes called the Parasite Five. Parasite you know, Five. Shelby Snail has wonderful wonderful clavicles and I really yeah. want to Shelby Snail, you like yeah. his clavicles? That's definitely love, a selling point is the clavicles. clavicles. Yeah. Yeah. If you like clavicles, this game is for you. Yeah. Oh, um, and if you like feathers, do you did you see that Alan? Ooh, Alan was just, shout out to Alan. Alan has Alan's a thing for feathers, fan. I guess, oh, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. I think everyone's going to have a lot of fun with this one, too. But, uh, you know, uh, I think all the dates, you know, you're just going to have so much fun. He really takes you on a lot of different places. And Los York is so alive. I mm. think that fans are really going to dig in and do, enjoy. Do you have a best boy yet? Oh, Alan. Alan Melville. Oh, Alan I'm is your best shout boy? Shout out to Alan Melville. Oh, I don't yeah. know, man. Those clavicles Shelby has. I don't she has, know. has, like, little riblets you going purple on, hair? too. Purple hair and goth? Come on. You can't stop that. Uh, yeah. I like clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cloud guy yeah. myself. But, yeah. Uh, is there is there what is probably the biggest thing to look forward to in Cupid Parasite? Like I don't that's kind of like I kinda of just dropped that on you. Honestly, you, you gotta expect the unexpected. You know, yeah? uh, working on other Atomic games I've never played or sorry, uh, uh, worked on anyone quite like this. I really think it kinda of stretches and, and takes you on some adventures that you'd never expect. Really? Yeah. I don't wanna give too much away, but I gotta say I, I, my my sides were sides are going the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. It's really funny. It's just a lot of fun, you know. That's awesome. Oh, Hi, what's that? Hey, hey, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, what's uh, up? I have a delivery for rain. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay. No, nope, this oh, way. Okay. Yeah. No, keep it. Keep oh. it. Yeah, keep Let's it. Let's see. Nope, don't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just pull out this okay, way. Okay, here we go. Yeah. What is this? Huh? Oh. oh. What? What's what that? What is this? Something's what? coming soon. What is that? I don't know. Oh. Seems pretty cool. Huh. I don't know. Can you see that? Does that anyone, does reminds anyone me know of, what this is? It reminds me of that one game that starts with a B. Do you remember what it? Biru? Biru Shana? I hmm. guess so. Is that Biru Shana? Maybe. I don't know. What do you? What do you? I don't know. Think? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's coming weird. soon. Well, coming soon. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. It's come. Thank you very much for the mail. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Nothing for me? Uh, sorry. Oh. Sorry. All right. Come see on. Another mail person. Thanks. Thanks, mail guy. Um. What's that one? It's upside. What is that? Oh. What? Wait, what? There's nothing in the backside. It's not showing anything right now. What? Is is it? It? Oh. 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 Oh man. Robbie, you were supposed to show that side. Oh man. So, I guess. Well, I guess now you guys know we have more Otome games coming besides, you know, Biru Shana. I guess we have more. Ooh. Way to go, Rob! Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. So, yeah, Otome fans, I hope you will be very excited. We have Keep It Parasite like, coming down the line. And then we have, you know, a strange, we got a strange letter from someone that says we're getting some uh, new samurai men. And then also, you know, Rob gave away some confidential Hey, that's not fair. The mailman gave it to me. That's not I, fair. I don't know, <laughs> but, well. well I do. So um, I guess up next, hey you guys, are you guys ready for your next performance? Have you seen uh, this uh, interview? Uh, what? So you have your next EBO performance. You got the the interview that we did in the past, and we got. That's gonna be here. 
Yeah, you just you, you just, just you just played, performed. Wayne? Why do you always forget these things? You literally just oh performed the first song and you forgot that there's more. Wayne, we're you were gonna... already here. I don't want to do the whole pompadour thing again. I gotta put my hair back. All right, yeah. I guess I'll do it. All, All right. right. All right. Goodbye, yeah. everybody. Bye. Can we talk about Six on the Moon? Oh. It was an international success top the charts in Germany, Vietnam. You know, it's kind of abstract, references German cuisine, cosmology, all sorts of things. Sixth on the Moon yeah. was a very special one. Mm. I wanted to go on a vision quest. I wanted to get out of the limelight, you know? I had nothing to do with that song. The, kind of an experimental song. Mm -hmm. um, that was one that Robbie really took the reins on himself. What does that even mean, Six on the Moon? There's, there's cameras, there's stars. Leonardo DiCaprio texting me. He's like, hey dude, let's go chill at the pool. He really was in quite a different place. Robert was telling me about a trip he took. My trip, huh? Mm -hmm. He tell you about a vision quest? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Full of crap. I don't want to hang out with all the hotties, you know? I just took six dudes in a, a Mercedes Sprinter. Uh, and then we went to Yucca Valley, had a special retreat. It's parked on the side of the road. We're like, who cares about campgrounds, you know? Pack it in, dude. Six dudes in a tent, why not? Shirtless, why not? Incense, bring it on, you know? And Six on the Moon was like, once it hit nighttime, I was like, dude, moon? And some guy was just counting numbers for no reason. I was like, six, yeah, dude, that's a lucky number. And everyone would be like, oh my God, six, Satan? And like, dude. One, you want to count with me? No. That guy, mm -hmm. that guy took a car to Fresno mm -hmm. out of La Quinta. He went to Fresno. Mm. It was a La Quinta Inn. He showed up at my house, 8.30 a.m. on a Monday, four-door Geo Metro. He somehow packed six guys into it. I think, from what I recall, he had Rain's craft work records at the time. Out of La Quinta, with my craft work records, mm. Didn't hear from him for a week. All he comes back, well, I want to record an album. Well, you want to record an album? Okay, that's fine. But with my records, not for me. And those really inspired uh, the song. He also probably had them because the guys that he was with were also in a craft work cover band with him. Mm. Um, they were playing a residency in Fresno, I believe, for that week, just five days straight at the banquet hall at the La Quinta just craft work classics. Um, and that's also kind of why, you know, I, I'm whatever about craft work, so I didn't, I didn't want to go. La Quinta? Yeah. A craft work band. I've never, Co craft work. Yeah. Cra say that again? Six on the Moon, that, that was really Rob's yeah. craft work phase, as I like to think of it. He really loved the kraut rock thing, and I, I never really totally understood that. The same way I never really understood him rapping over blues. I didn't know mm -hmm. you could really do that. It says you were in a craft work cover band. Is that true? Sorry, I spit everywhere. I don't mean to. No. I don't even know what that band is. We have, we have a photo. Garz, give me the photo now! Oh. Is that not you? We haven't been a band for a while. Uh-huh. That's mostly because Rain kind of thinks that Robbie stole his records. Not technically. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I've kind of had them for the last, you know, it's been a while. Yeah. And well, I, I just, uh, I just feel like I need to give these to you because you're going to oh. talk to them later and maybe, uh, okay. Well, maybe you can give them. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Well, yeah. Can, can, you, can you do that? I, yeah, definitely. Okay. For sure. Yeah. So Alex told me that he had borrowed them from Robert. And Alex, I... Alex told you that. Mm -hmm. My records. Yeah. I actually have them here with me. Alex gave you these. Mm -hmm. These are my records. Yeah. Can you cut the camera real quick? Shay, I come from a good place. Mm, where's that? Okay, moving on. It seems yeah. like they're making you emotional. You ever made, make a mistake, Shay? Of course. Yeah, what's the biggest mistake you've ever made in life? Interviewing Robert. I know the feeling. Now to perform their experimental track off of their record, Audubon Me On You, EBO presents Six on the Moon. On with the show, fellas.
isolation, aloneness, exclusion, reclusion, pollution, pollution of the mind, quarantine within the sky. Is it a crime to find what is mine? What is the time? On the moon. So do you have like lipstick, like the blue lipstick on? Oh yeah, I, I don't want to reveal, you know, I got to keep my performance and my stuff kind of secretive and then when I actually perform, I want to like, you know, mm. I want to show it off. So it, 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 maybe not showing it, it right it, now, but it, it is blue right here. It is oh, blue. Oh yeah, yeah it's very blue. I like cannot believe how fast you are at changing back into you know? your hot Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Thank you guys for supporting <laughs> Electric Bar Orchestra. Uh, thanks to me, no thanks to Alex and Rain. I wow. You checking us out. Six on the Moon, coming to a, a store near you. All right. So um, we can, we're going to do another giveaway. Yes. So, ooh, I don't think we have it in here. What is it? What is it? What is it? I'll get it. I'll get it. You're going to get it. Are you going to be as quick as yes. possible? Or maybe we'll so have today, another prop person get it. Yeah, so. Prop person. So for today's, um, for this giveaway, I don't know if you saw in that fabulous Chanel commercial, I oh, mean not yes. Chanel commercial, that fabulous merch commercial, yes. that there was a wall scroll. There is, yes. There's a wall scroll. So for this giveaway, we're mm -hmm. going to be giving away the Neptunia Yukata wall scroll Woo! for this giveaway. It's the one that Nav put down in the commercial, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one where I was like, bah, bah, bah. yeah, yeah, that Very one. Cool. Um, I don't have the wall scroll. I don't know where it is. If somebody is prop person, prop person. <laughs> we are, we just heard what? a voice coming out from the side over there. 
Things Same. are live and well, and you know sometimes things happen. We're gonna figure that but out. But anyways, real quick. you guys know what the what the what the wall scroll looks like. So oh look at that! Oh. Yeah yeah yeah, here it is. So we're, we'll be giving away this wall scroll. It's pretty big, actually. It's a big one. Yeah, so we'll be choosing two winners from the uh, from the uh, from from the chat. From one 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 winner from YouTube, one winner from uh, Twitch. Twitch. What's the question, Rob? Do you have a question? Do I have a question? <laughs> oh wait, let me see if I could do the thing now. Did while you're tr choosing the question. Uh. Fall? Yeah. Uh, all right. So the question is, what is the release date as of now for Cupid Parasite? You gotta say the month. Let me do this. And also the year. All right, roll it down. All right, everybody, season. start guessing. The oh, season. don't forget the season. Yeah, the season, not the month. So it's like, how'd she do it? She like did it so perfectly. She's like. Bah, bah, bah. Am I going to hit you? No. There oh, it is. I think I did it. Woo! Woo! That's it. That's it. Very cool. Yes. So, um, like I said, we'll be choosing two winners. And, and we'll get that roll scroll to you. Uh, also, there was a lot of products that we featured on the on that uh, commercial that we did. Yeah. Um, Store to iFly Games, if you guys are interested in like the Mary Skelter. The Mary Skelter roll call wall scroll. We also have like the keychains for Mary Skelter and also uh, the Dead Genius Charm. Uh, check it out, store.ifi.games. It's one click away. Mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully you guys enjoy those. Yes. So, should we go on to the next thing before we choose a winner? Yeah, I yeah. think I think maybe, maybe we should do. We should take a little a little break from all the. Oh, you you wanna. Do you want to... Let's, let's, let's just throw an announcement. What? What if, we, what if we just... What are we doing? What so. if we just... Mary's yes! Culture Finale will have a physical and digital release. It's coming out in North America on September 30th. Yes. And on October 1st for Europe. Yes. 
And then, um, for the first time, Mary Skelter locks up in love. The romantic visual novel is going to finally be released in the West with Mary Skelter finale. Whoa, what's going on over there? Sorry, I sorry. think you need a... I need a fan. Fan me <laughs> off! But, um, yeah, so we are so excited to finally announce this release date. Yes. And I'm sure all of you Mary Skelter finale fans are also very excited and that's coming up that's like two months away yeah that's really really close yeah. and then also you know what else we announced we announced that the pre-orders for the limited edition will start on september 1st yes september 1st um we'll have the time uh, announced later today and keep an eye out set your calendars set it um there's going to be a different time for it to start depending on if you're located in europe or north america so keep an eye out. It's a big boy. It it's is a, a lot, big limited edition. There's a lot of cool stuff. It has a three. It has a, a hardcover novel box set. Right. It has a hardcover co co cover, cover art book. It has a three disc track OST. Mm -hmm. And it, there's more. a lot of good stuff. Lot. There's so much stuff in it. So we really hope that you love it. Um, but before we move on, let's choose the let's announce the winners from the giveaway. Yes, let's do before, it for the uh, the wall scroll. Before we move on, let me pull it up on my fern. There it is. And the winner on Twitch is Z Cat Cracker. Z Cat. Z Cat Cracker. Congrats, Z Cat. Congratulations, you, you won. Get a wall scroll. You won the wall scroll. You won the You're a winner. Wall scroll. You're a winner. Okay, I cannot. Okay, here we go. Congratulations. Woo! And then um, the winner on the YouTube side is. Reza. Rez Reza. R E Z A. Reza. YouTube side. Reza. Please send us a DM on Twitter and let us know that you won the You Kept the Wall Scroll. Thank you, Reza. Congratulations. Now. You all saw the amazing Mary Skelter finale limited edition, yeah, right? At the, yeah. at the end of that trailer. Well, that limited edition would not be possible without our wonderful design and production team. Very cool stuff. So we're really happy to show for the first time, we're going to have an interview with one of our design team members. And we hope that you enjoyed this like behind the scenes of how we were able to create Mary Skelt, the Mary Skelter finale limited edition, mm -hmm. plus like other, other limited editions. So, mm -hmm. you hope Check you enjoy out. this. Hi, my name is Andrea and I work at Idea Factory International. I work on the design and production team. My background in art, um, I was really interested in comics, um, manga when I was younger. Uh, that kind of continued into adulthood, obviously. Um, and I studied, <laughs> I studied at Cal State Fullerton. Uh, I studied illustration. Um, I took some classes in graphic design and I really liked it, so I decided to pursue that. Design and production are two halves of like the same whole for my job. Um, basically, design is the creative aspect, and then production is the scheduling and the manufacturing. So a good example is the novel slipcase for Mary Skelter Finale. Uh, for the novel slipcase, I was able to do the design, um, and then I also like sent it out for office feedback. So that's like within our own office. And then after that, we send it out to Idea Factory Japan, and then they either give like feedback or approval, and then we send it out to manufacturing, and then we even control all the way up to like delivery. So we decide the design direction for limited editions, um, normally after a company-wide meeting. In that meeting, localization team will go over the different aspects of the new the new title. They'll go over like the story, the characters, and we'll get like a really good feel for what the what the game is going to be like. So then after that, um, we have a, like a smaller team meeting and we go over the Japanese assets. Um, normally that include the packaging assets, the limited edition, the standard edition, like art book and bonus items, and then the website items. After that meeting, we'll have selected the artwork for packaging. So a really good example of selecting artwork for bonus items is uh, with the Steel Game Keys for Mary Skelter Finale. So we saw um, artwork that was really dynamic and it had like a really beautiful flow and we thought it would be great for the Steel Game case. For the novels and the novel slipcase, we really wanted to give fans something special. It's the first time that they'll be able to get all the no novels in the series together and the story is really important for Mary Skelter. It has, you know, Jack and Alice and it has a transparent sleeve. Uh, the slipcase is 
matte, and then the hardcover book set will be matte finish as well. I sent um, drawings to our vendor um, showing him what we wanted. We'd never done a transparent sleeve before, so that was also really fun to do. Um, and I think just like seeing it all come together and like being able to hold it in my hands, I'm, I'm really happy. It, it's, it came out really good. <laughs> my favorite item that I've made was the Steel Game case for Death and Request 2. So it's this. The, the art that they gave us for it was already really cool. And then I was able to like select out like different pieces. Like I don't know if it's picking up. But um, I also drew like this whole detailing on the background. It's like, it was really fun. Um, and then this steel game case, like we try to kind of up the design for each bonus item. Um, and we, this is the first one that we started adding in like um, artwork on the inside as well. Because before that, like I think a good example is the, the steel game case for Dragon Star Barnier. Um, so this is the limited edition bonus for that, that title, but so empty, <laughs> so wait. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was great to be able to kind of get better, improve it. One of the hardest designs I've had to do was the record cover for the Neptunia Virtual Stars limited edition vinyl. Um, so it ended up coming out really great. Uh, and the reason why it was a little bit harder, because design-wise I'd never done a gatefold before, so I didn't even really know like what to design for. Um, and it ended up becoming a really collaborative design because I went to my teammate and we were able to kind of come up with the solution that I was missing. But sometimes you just really need like that little extra help to kind of get you through. And um, this gatefold is really cool too because for, it's like one of the first times that we've ever used like the 3D assets for it as well. This isn't necessarily a tool, but it's definitely like a practice that I really enjoy. Um, it's, I, I love to like really deep dive research into the titles that I'm doing. And that can be for like limited edition items, it can be for merchandising, um, but I really like to make sure that I know exactly what the game is about. So that research will lead to like drawing and sketching, like let's say for a limited edition box, like I'll draw like 10 or so sketches of what boxes I might make. And after that, I'll, I'll make sure <laughs> that, I'm, that I'm going the right way. So I'll check with like marketing, I'll check with localization team, um, and then I definitely check with my teammate. In terms of tools, tools, uh, I definitely use like Adobe Suite. I use Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. That stuff I use for the limited edition, um, art books, you know, boxes. And then Procreate I use for the invitation to this event. Um, and then I also use it for the holiday card. My advice to join in like the industry, um, definitely make sure that you have a portfolio tailored to the position that you want. Definitely network. Make sure that you start ne networking as soon as possible. Like if you're like younger, like definitely start when you're in college if possible. Any event that you know that the company that you want to work for is there, try to present yourself in a professional manner. Definitely come with a business card. And then if you see an opening in a company that you want to work in, no matter what, like let's say it's like a QA tester, definitely apply. Um, to like just being there, letting them know like, hey, this isn't necessarily the position I want to end up in, but this is, I'm fine with starting here and I'm fine with working up. I think that's helpful. Like just make sure that you hone your design sense. Um, make sure to be practicing as much as possible. Having a good portfolio is really important. Even like giving yourself little assignments, let's say, oh, like I just want to make like an art book. Like let's say like you love like a mobile game. So you just make, make an art book for a mobile game that you, you like. That was something that I did and it, it worked for me. Design and production also handles everything digitally as well. So anything that you see on like the PlayStation Store, um, anything for Switch or for Steam, um, we do it all. Uh, we do the avatars, we do deluxe items, um, we do like all the storefront banners. Um, it even goes to conventions. Um, so in conventions, like we'll do the menu, we'll do the booth walls, we'll do the signage, we'll do standees. So whatever physical or digital graphics you see, our team does it all. And there's only two of us, me and Sari. Wow! Ooh, thank, you, thank you, Andrea. So a lot of the times that we do like uh, shout outs to our, our team, it's we've, we've done a lot of interviews with localization team and obviously you see marketing team mm -hmm. kind of move around a lot in different places. But 
I think it was nice for us to kind of shine design team. They've been working really hard mm -hmm. and, and getting the limited editions out. And, and Wow, and someone pointed it out. Only two. Yes, there are only, only two, two members on our design team. So everything, like, including, you know, like, the, the enamel pins, like, everything that you guys buy on the store, that is done by Andrea and Saudi. That's only two people. Yeah, they've, I mean, they, they've been working hard. I mean, for... Since I've been here, they've been really uh, getting things done, and yeah. I, I really want to give a shout out to Andrea and Sari for um, sticking with us. There's been a lot of stuff happening before this stream, yeah. and uh, we really appreciate. Uh, and also, hopefully, you guys also appreciate the the hard work that they put in. So, yeah. round of applause to Andrea and Sari. Give them throw up those ones throw for ones. design team. Throw up the ones, man. But honestly, they work so hard, and I don't. They make some of like the best designs I, like I've ever seen. They do. Like they all do. those T-shirt designs, all of the standees, the chibis, like everything. They're mm. fantastic. They do all of you know, like everything you see. Like she said, everything you see, even this background. Like Andrea drew Andrea this. Andrea drew this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they do an amazing job, and it felt so great to be able to finally give them some spotlight yeah so they work really hard and i hope that you all appreciate the merch that much more um now that you know that there's literally only two of them yes yes, yes. and like sometimes we'll give them some crazy crazy designs and they're just like you crazy but then they, <laughs> they freak, they'll make it better like than what we even pitch so they're like they're incredible yes, honestly yes um and you know with that uh, with after that design interview, we're going to do another giveaway, and it's going to be a very special giveaway. Woo! We don't have it with us, but mm -hmm. for this giveaway, we will be giving out a Mary Skelter Finale Limited Edition. Yes! Yay! Yes. So we'll be choosing a winner from uh, Twitch and YouTube, and this is your chance to win a Mary Skelter Finale Limited Edition, and that includes all of the stuff inside the art books, the hardcover novels, the poster, the steel game case, etc., etc. And this is your chance to win it. Right. And of course, the game isn't out yet, so the winners we will ship the limited edition when the game launches. So, um, I do want to point out for the Mary Skelter limited edition, there is a lot of content there. Mm -hmm. Uh, within the game itself, there is a before story, so you can relive the things that's happened yes. in Mary Skelter mm -hmm. Nightmares mm -hmm. and also Mary Skelter 2. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, the limited edition also has additional storylines within mm -hmm. Mary Skelter. So, yeah, if you're a huge fan of Mary Skelter and if you want to know the, the, the entire story of the, the Mary Skelter series, we highly recommend you checking this out and checking out the story. So, yes. So we are really excited um, to do this giveaway. Yes. So um, we can start the giveaway. Do you have a question? Yes, for I do them? have a question. And it's Mary Skelter finale related. Did someone already answered? <laughs> yes, yeah, someone did. <laughs> They're already trying to answer the question. All right, all right. Jump in the gun, you guys. All right, so the, what is the release date of the, the North American release date for Mary Skelter finale? Oh, let's go. Just the month and the day. This, yeah, the yeah month you don't need day. to do the year, so just the month and the day. People already knew. It's also, like, spell out September. Yeah, please spell out September. And you don't have to add the... Wow, wow, look at that chat go. Just TH wait till the YouTube pops up. In September Yep, there's the YouTube. Yeah. There it is. Just so... September and 30 is what you need. Make sure you spell those correctly. <laughs> we're, we're spell checking. All right, so while this giveaway is happening... By the way, like, we still have, like, a really fun thing to announce at the end we hope that you oh. stay until the end oh. um it's something really special to us that we've been working on and we hope Labor that you love. all really love it mm -hmm. so please stick around until the end please. um but you know what let's uh what's the what, how's the how's the charity doing charity
Did you see that? Ooh. That is the final art for the charity auction. Yes. Um, before we move on, by the way, um, it looks like the items that we announced for the store, like the merchandise, it's all on sale right now. So it's if you up. if you guys want to buy stuff. Um, all the merch, the charms, the standees, the shirts, all of that is all available for purchase on store.ifi.games right yep. now. Just a heads up. But did you see that beautiful art? I what did. It looks like I was right. Those I was, watercolors. I was enamored. I was like, oh my god! Those I can't watercolors. Believe. Yeah, those watercolors are amazing. And you know what? Do you want to see Let's what check it looks it up. like? Pull are you, it are up. you guys ready? So the winner of the the winning bid will receive this. Ginormous acrylic prints Whoa. of the art. It is an acrylic print. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. This is one of a kind. This is this is what you will get. There's a hook on the back for you to hang it. So I'm holding it right now because you can you can hang it. So this is the final art piece that you would get. Um, for the charity. It also has Sonata's little uh, yeah, little it has a little signature, signature right Very here. Very cool. It is gorgeous. The watercolors look amazing on this. Let me move this microphone. You want to move it closer to you for a little bit? But the like the acrylic makes the watercolors just like pop out like that much more. Our lighting isn't that great in here, but this is a beautiful print. It's very and, nice. Yeah, so you can bid on the link below. We will also post the links on um, on Twitter. So please, please, please. Put in your bids. It's going to a great cause. It's going to charity, mm -hmm. and IFI will match the bids by a hundred percent. We so this is whoa. Beautiful. So we just got some news right now that the bid, the current highest bid right now, is at three thousand. Whoa! Again, last year we hit past the ten thousand mark for for the donation. So hopefully we can double that to twenty thousand. We really love for you guys to. Uh, for the highest bidder, you, it'd be an awesome piece of artwork uh, on your wall. And uh, again, it's going to be for a good cause in uh, fighting the global pandemic of COVID-19. Yeah. And uh, I think it's going to be awesome. It One of a kind. gorgeous. You know, this is so beautiful. Tanako did an amazing job. He's always, he always, like I said, he always goes up and beyond. So we really hope that whoever wins this um, bid really enjoys this art piece. Because once again, it's one of a kind. You can't get it anywhere else. Very and true. It's so pretty, so we really hope that you all love this. Also, let's give Sunako a round yeah! of applause for, for this. This is really great. I'm clapping right now. Yay! Thank you, Sunako, again, Thank for, again, for taking Sunako. the time to do this. Um, but yeah, so that is the charity auction piece. Once again, the bidding is up until next Wednesday, and then the winning bid has 72 hours to pay for it. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled on that. If you get outbid, bid again, you know. So <laughs> it's all for a good cause. And we are really happy with that art piece. It's so yes. beautiful. Very cool. But yeah. So I guess. I mean, speaking of art, we do have one piece. Uh, I know we've been talking about the, the culture aspect of the Japanese summer event. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Hi. It's the back. culture aspect Hello. of the uh, the summer event, and we were able to do a very special thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, with this upcoming video right here. Yeah. Um, we got to teach Shay, or now got to teach Shay how to make some uh, okonomiyaki. Yeah. So I mean, if oh you wait, have... wait, we never chose the winners. Oh yeah, we should choose. That. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let's do the winners for the um the the Mary Skelter Run it back. 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 The winner, the winner for Twitch is Druid's Tavern. Tavern, sorry, Druid. Druid's Tavern, Tavern. <laughs> or Tavern? Druid's Tavern. <laughs> Druid's Tavern. You won the Mary Skelter finale limited Congrats. edition. Please note that you can choose which console you would like it for because yes. it is coming out for PlayStation Four and Nintendo Switch, so just let us know which console you would like and send us a DM on Twitch. Yes. The winner on YouTube is a full name here. Um, Tanner Montgomery on YouTube. Congrats, you won Tanner. the Mary Skelter Finale Limited Edition. So please send us a DM on Twitter and let us know. Um, for those of you who won on YouTube, because this is a bigger event, 
Um, if you want on YouTube, could you please send us a little screenshot of your profile just so that we can confirm that you are who you say? Mm -hmm. um, mainly because this is a bigger event. There's a lot more people that we have to handle this time around. So please If you be are sure who you say know. you are, please confirm. Yeah. Thank you. Superstar. Okay. Anyway. All right. So let's. Uh, I'm hungry. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I'm yeah. hungry. I am hungry too. So let's get into this next video. Our last call for video of the day. The stars are shining. The cicadas are chirping. EBO is ready to perform. I'm really, really hungry. Huh? Now? What are you doing here? Oh. What, are you, what are you doing here? Shake! Hi. Great, you are here. I, I'm here. Are you free right now? I, yeah. Okay, you look perfect. Thank Good job. I'm making okonomiyaki. Could oh, you help oh, me? Oko... Okonomi. Okonomi. Yaki. Yaki. So okonomiyaki is basically Japanese pancake. I like and, pancakes. Okay, perfect. So there's a two version. Uh -huh. One is Hiroshima Fu Okonomiyaki. Okay. And then Kansai Okonomiyaki. The Hiroshima Fu is all the layers with veggie and pork mm -hmm. and shrimp and whatever you want to put, right? Today I want to make the Okonomiyaki in the Hiroshima style. Okay. First, here's a butter. Okay. And make a little circle. You know, I majored in geometry. What? And here's a bonito. Bonito. Bonita flake. It's uh, made from uh, made with uh, fish. Oh, it's oh. It's good. Smell okay. it. Mm. Smells great. <laughs> okay. okay. Next, cabbage. You know cabbage, yeah. I know cabbage. Very and you well. like cabbage, yeah. I'm friends with cabbage. Already. Okay. It's a next, good layer. green onion. Green onions. Mm, strong. Put yeah. on it. And your favorite shrimp. Ah, I love shrimp. Mm. Bean sprouts. Uh -huh. Next, you can put this tempura bits. Okay, now, pork. Pork? But if you don't like pork, you can use chicken, you can use uh, beef, or if you like seafood, you can put squid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No? Chicken? Chicken. We need butter again. Butter again. To kind of cover, no. Entirely cover them, but like this, the butter is gonna connect them together. Okay. Ready? Hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. We're gonna do it together. Okay. You ready? Ready. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, you did it better than I did. <laughs> We're gonna put some noodle. Noodle. Okay. So this is where Hiroshima style is very special mm -hmm. because. The Kansai style, we don't put noodle. Mm -hmm. But Hiroshima style, we use noodle. Okay. So move everything on to yakisoba. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Ah! Okay. All right. So you crack the egg here. Okay. Uh, break the yolk a little bit with the chopsticks. Uh -huh. And make sure it's like a round shape, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I have a question. Yeah. What does okonomiyaki mean? Okonomiyaki means... So, yaki meaning like cooking, baking. Mm -hmm. And okonomi is like whatever you like, what mm. your, your preference, what you like. So, it's basically what it's saying is you can cook mm -hmm. whatever you want in the mix. And then you get your okonomi oh, okay. yaki. So you say you like chicken nuggets uh -huh. yeah? or chicken, yeah. so you can mix in the chicken in here uh -huh. and then that would be your favorite pancake. Huh. So I, what, in Japan, what we do is when we have all the leftover vegetables, mm -hmm. we usually make okonomiyaki because mm -hmm. you can mix everything oh, and fine. don't waste food, right? <laughs> you ready? Ready. One, two, three. Ah, that's all right. good. Another fun part. Oh. So use that sauce. It's the okonomi sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this first. Okay. It's a sauce made with vegetables and mm. all the good stuff. Today's a special day. It is. So I wanna draw the napkin up. Okay. 
I'll try at least. Yep, it's oh. IF approved. You're good. There we go. Yep. And then Adequate. finally, we can use AOSA. Okay. AOSA is Aosa. made from uh, seaweed, like oh. a little bit of, you know, green flakes. Uh -huh. So here you go. Okay, thank you. So girls actually don't like this because oh. when they eat, it's stuck in the teeth, you know, like, so they don't want to eat that uh -huh. AOSA, but it's really, really good. You say, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. <laughs> so good. It's good. Yeah. Oishi desu. Oishi desu. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Mm. Thank you so much. Mm. I've been making okonomiyaki all day. Mm -hmm. What are you doing now? Um, I actually have to go give this to Zanda and Robbie. Oh yeah, they're doing the streaming today. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what else? What else is going on? Uh, we have the EBO concert tonight. Oh my goodness! I'm so yeah, excited. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna go? Oh, of course. It's gonna be good. I'm not as you know as big a fan as you are, but I love them. Okay. Okay. There you go. Yay! Thank good you so job, much. Good job, Shay. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Oh, oh man, that was delightful. Dude, I don't know how Shay was able to like flip that pancake so well because that Very was talented. like I I think I would probably flip it over the Oh, oh Shay, wait. Hey, okay. Thank, oh. Okonomiyaki. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Nice. Wow. This looks exactly like Umio. I don't know if you can see that. I don't well, know. Well, my geared him. Oh, thank you so much, way? Shay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks, guys. This oh, looks delightful. Oh, yum. I All I have is cold brew, like, kind of mingling in my stomach. Oh, so yeah. All I do is drink some water. Well, I'll put it right here and just smell it. It smells amazing. But you know what? Um, how's the... Um, what's the bid at for the um, the charity? Yes. Still, so the bid's still at 3500 3, So uh, don't forget... Um, place your bids, links below. You still have a week, so there's no rush in yeah. bidding. Take your time. You do have a week. Yes. And then, yeah, they drew on it too, Pure Talent. Yeah, they did a really great job. Yeah. It looks so... Look at the eyes. It's very uh, fish-like. Yeah, the... Look at the dorsal fins. It's Nothing so... like it. <laughs> the dorsal... <laughs> but, um... So, we still have one really fun announcement at the end here, but you know what, Rob? Yes. Um, you, you have another performance oh, yeah, you're shoot. gonna be late. Yes, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. EBO. So here's our- last, last song. Last song. I just wanted to talk about uh, how you all work together at IFI. Mm -hmm. um, how does it feel now, after working there for a bit, uh, now you're here at the festival, and you're gonna be performing as EBO again. What's that feeling like? It's honestly a blessing. I mean, Idea Factory International has uh, called me up. We're like, dude, okay, this is this is this is Idea Factory International. This is mm. me. I do, dude. We need you immediately. You are the best person in the world. Get here now, mm. immediately. Well, you work at Idea Factory. And then I was like, wait, what? How does it feel now being back? For this festival kind of me. kind of exciting you know we've been working yeah. uh just at ifi for a while and yeah. we really i feel like have compartmentalized this season of our lives out of our brains somehow i don't really mm. know how that happened we see each other all the time i feel yeah. like we're cc'd in each other's emails all of the time but uh we don't ever talk about this thing so it's kind of exciting it's kind of exciting and, and fun that we got asked to get the band back together yeah I'm so glad you could be here. Yeah, thanks. You know, I'm done talking about the past. Mm. For me, it's all about the future. Mm. You know how to spell future? M-E, baby. Me. You know what the future is? Mary Skelter finale. Let's talk about the end. One more bite. Sure. How did it feel kind of wrapping uh, things up with that song? We made that song, and I was like, it was the most, I felt like it was the most natural for us. Mm. You know how the best songs are written within, like, the five minutes of, like, you know. Sure. Okay. Getting bad vibes here again. I don't know if I'm... Looking back at your, your past shows, uh, which was your favorite? Gardena Bowl. 
Okay. Yeah. Super fun. Gardena Bowl. Gardena Bowl, man. Hmm. I could have swore there's like 5,000 heads there. Well, it was my niece's sixth birthday. She had like a mariachi band that was going to come in and play and they had to cancel last minute. Elton John. There was like 15 people. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Besides that, it was super fun. The energy was like super on it. Uh, we were all super in sync. Daniel Day-Lewis, you know, names. You know, sometimes, you know, when you're on the road, you have good shows and you have bad shows, but that night, you were locked in. We played the same three songs like five times and it was really fun. Mm. Everyone's like, oh my God, Rob, just have Rain and Alex leave the stage and just play by yourself. And me, because I'm channeling all the goodness and I want to make sure that everyone gets the EBO love. I'm like, no, nah. I'm like, I'm yelling back. I'm like, no, no, they, they, they should play here because they deserve it, you know? Uh, those are all the questions uh, I had for you today. Okay. Uh, thank you so, so much totally. for being here. For sure. Been... Did you just uh, bow? Yes. That's cool. Thank you, Rain. Those are all the questions I had for you today. Um, but I did have a little request. A request? Yeah. I was wondering if you could sign my tie. That tie right there? Oh, yeah. On that sweet little meat and neck on, your, on yours? If you could, Not a problem. Thank you. Thank you very much. I got you, buddy. You could sign my tie, would you? Would that be? Sure. I'm trying not to stand up right now because I have to perform pretty soon. Okay. Um, but maybe I, I can, can, okay. I can come over. Sure, yeah, that'd be great. I can. Do you, uh, Tache? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Totally. Thank you, Alex. Well, Mr. Mr. Vice. Well, Alex is mine. Wait, did you say goodbye already? I don't know how this. Goodbye. Okay. Wait, I noticed you got the tie on. Do you want me to, uh... No, that's okay. I mean, my picture's no, no, no. on there. You don't want me to sign anything? That's okay. That's Are okay. you sure? No, 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 no. Thank you. All right, I mean, Thank just, you, but... you, have my, you have my contacts, yeah? Uh, sure, yeah. I'll I've give you my somewhere. business card later. My people call your people. Yeah. And then we'll... Sure. Should we shake hands? No, it's okay. All right, should I walk off? Yep, you can All go. Right. Thank you. Now, exclusively for IFI's live stream event, I present to you the first ever live performance of One More Bite. This is Electric Bite Orchestra.
gift change again. Thank you, everyone. That was uh, one more bite. Uh, thanks to me. Uh, and I guess Alex and Rain also helped. Uh, Electric Bike Orchestra coming to a theater near you. I still don't know how you do that. I still don't know how you do that. So Magic. Magic's in the air. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed Electric Bite Orchestra. Um, how long were you guys even a band for? Uh, two weeks. Oh. I disbanded for an, another week after that. So oh. I guess we've, if you count the week where we weren't together, uh huh, two weeks. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We wrote well, those then. songs. It just it was so natural for us. It was great. <laughs> just hits after hits. Wow. Yeah. Dang. So then Gardena Bowl was like what? That was like last Friday. Oh, dang! Whoa, 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 whoa. Spamasubis are great there. Yeah, I mean, like, and you guys got your name because of uh, Zelbob. Zelbob, right? From Zelbob, from, from yeah. I want to give a shout out to Zelbob. Thank you so much. Zelbob3326? 3326. Zelbob3326. Name the band. Uh, named Electric Bite Orchestra. Uh, you were a huge influence in us, so again, uh, thank you for <laughs> participating in that contest, and yes. uh, we made it happen, so. Yeah. So, um, we have uh, one last giveaway before we do our nice, wonderful announcement Announcer. at the end. Yes, yes. So, we do have one last giveaway. I hope Otome fans are still here because we're going to be giving out a um, Cupid Parasite Limited Edition. Yes! Are, are Otome fans still here? Are you guys still interested in Are y'all still things? here? I can't we're tell. Going to, wow, someone barked. Hi. Um, so, Otome fans, we're going to do um, a giveaway. Yes. We're going to choose one winner from Twitch and one winner from YouTube, and this is your chance to win a Cupid Parasite Limited Edition. We will have more information on the Limited Edition when it comes, um, when we, you know, post about it right, right. later this year. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the game comes out this fall, so this is your chance to get this Limited Edition for free. Yes. Um, we'll mark your name down, and when the game launches... This fall, we will ship it out to you. Yes. And then, once again, our giveaways, um, anybody can join. So you don't have to live in the States. We'll, we'll ship internationally as well. Yes. So, wow, everyone's still here. Hello. Wow, yeah, I'm happy yeah. you're still here. Yay. Free stuff is always fun. All right. So, um, yeah, so this is your chance to win a Cupid Parasite Limited Edition. We're really excited. Y'all already saw there's an art book in it. <laughs> um... But yeah, do you have a question? Yes. So the question is, hopefully uh, people that are in chat were <laughs> watching the stream prior to this, because this question has happened maybe like 20 minutes ago. Uh, but speaking of design team, uh, at the end of that video uh, that Andrea did, she mentioned the number of people within design team in Idea Factory International. Give us the number of designers. Oop, I put it up accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the number of designers. Ah, there it is. In Idea Factory International. Oh, oh. Uh, yes, our Otome fans. Yes. All right. So, while the um, giveaway is going on, yes, we have this final announcement. Woo! It is something that we are very excited to share. Yes. We've been working really hard it's on it. It's been a long time. It's been yeah. a long time. We've um, been working really hard on it. So we really hope that. Um, IFI fans enjoy this um, wonderful thing. And Neptunia fans. Yeah, you know, Sonako. Sonako? You know, are y'all still there, Neptunia, Neptunia fans? Are y'all still there? Neptune? Also, yeah, so I hope you are ready for this. Let's so. go. Let's check it out. <laughs> Above our heads, that we said we were working on something, right? Right, right, right. Well, that is.
is where we are with that figure. Yes. We are working on a top nep pudding figure. Yes. I'm, and also, I'm just happy. I mean, people have pointed it out. It's a top. There's a top nep figure going on now. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I it's love seeing top it. nep sitting on a gigantic pudding. Pudding. The textures it's, are great. Obviously, there's no. There wasn't any color. That was the. Um, mm -hmm. What is the word I'm thinking of? I don't know. Not the fish, the, the final. Prototype. prototype. <laughs> Thank you. I had no idea Thank what you. you were prototype. About. That was the prototype. Uh, it obviously it wasn't finished. Uh, but that is we've been working on this for for a lot of months now. Yes. And uh, super excited. The stitching on the hat looks great in the top nut hat. Yeah, it is gorgeous, and we cannot wait to have it finished. Yes. Um, and just so you know. The figure is available for a wish listing on the Idea Factory International Store, so store.ifi.games. Yes. Please, please go and wish list this figure. The reason for that is because we still don't have the price yet, just so you know. But wish listing will help us determine how many quantities there's going to be. It is going to be a fairly limited, um, fairly limited amounts or a limited quantity of this figure mm -hmm. so don't get us wrong like don't think like oh the wish list is going to be like the, the, final, the final number, number. is just to help us gauge how many we should order so neptunia fans sunako fans sunako actually helped us design this figure yes so once again she went up and beyond and like helped us like create this figure as well so please 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 wish list it at store.ifi.games and that will help us know it ships it will it be on yeah so well it will it will be in europe i believe yeah yes yes europe yes it'll be available in europe it's going to be um as an ifi store exclusive mm -hmm. for now anyways mm -hmm. but please 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 just go to store.ifi.games support wish please list support it. We let love us know we've been working really hard on it so we really hope that we see those wishlist numbers and it'll help us determine um, how many to order. Yes. So. Um, yeah. With that uh, said, we're kind of wrapping up everything now, but we still need to pick a winner. Oh yeah. For the Keep It Parasite limited edition. So tell me fans out there, let us, uh, we are going to pick a winner on Twitch and one on YouTube. All right, ready? Ready? Yes. Otome fans, you guys can stop spamming now. We need to be able to see the winner. <laughs> Just to stop. <laughs> Y'all are really excited for this limited edition. You don't All even right. know what's in it yet. It looks like we picked someone on Twitch. The winner is Hone Cree? Honey Cree? Honey I don't know. H-O-N-E-C-R-I. Hone Cree. Hone, like, uh, I think, there it is. Hone Hone cry. Hone cry. Hone cry. Congratulations. You, you did won it. a um, Cupid Parasite Limited Edition. And like we said before, we will send it to you when the game launches. Um, make sure you send us a Twitter DM. Mm -hmm. Let us know. And also give us a <laughs> proof that what is you is you. So. Well, Compared to like YouTube, I think YouTube's will, like they have to do uh, the confirmation. That's true. Speaking of YouTube, YouTube winner, the YouTube winner, Celios. It looks like Celeste, but there's like an O after the E. So uh, C E L E O S T E. Congrats. Congratulations. You did it. Please send us a DM on Twitter. Let us know. Send us a little picture of your profile. That way we know that um, it you are you. Congratulations. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think. Is I, that, think I think that about wraps it up. Wraps up the RFI summer event. I know yeah. It's still hot outside. Hopefully everyone goes outside and enjoy their day. We are definitely enjoying ours. Uh, just a quick recap, a lot of the things that we did announce. Uh, so we announced Death and Request 2 for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we also have, uh, why can I think of it? Oh, we also announced uh, Neptunia uh, Senran Kagura Ninja Wars. Yes! Uh, and we also announced the... Cupid Parasite. Cupid Parasite. Some more Atome games. 
to come soon. Yes. And, uh... We can't tell you. If we tell you, we can't release it. And also, so you know. <laughs> and also, the Mary Skelter finale uh, release, release date, date for North America, and that's on mm-hmm. September 30th. Locked Up in Love is going to be available on Mary Skelter finale. We sh- showcase the limited edition. Uh-huh. Pre-orders for the LE start September 1st. September 1st, pre-orders LE, and then also the release date in Europe is uh, October 1st. So, awesome stuff there. Uh, we also announced the... The top net uh, pudding figure that we just showed yes. like five minutes ago. So yes. again, you can go to store.ifi.game. Please wish list it. Well, it gives mm-hmm. us an idea of what uh, the quantities that we should have. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we really appreciate your support. Yes. Uh, this has been a long time coming and, yeah. and seeing this come to fruition. It's, it's really awesome to see in front of our eyes. So hopefully we get that to you in front of yours as well. Mm-hmm. Eyes, that is. Yeah. So uh, I guess... I believe we want to start pre-orders this holiday, so keep an eye out for news for the Neptunia figure. Um, we're trying to aim for this holiday, yes. but um, we'll, of course we'll keep you guys updated. Mm-hmm. So please, please, please wish list, please, please, please wish list. Also, if you if you join the stream uh, pretty late, we are gonna have the stream available to mm-hmm. you on uh, our channels on YouTube. Yeah. Um, and uh, we'll also have the trailers that we provided on our YouTube channel as well. You can find all that information on our social channels right below, Twitch, our website, our YouTube page, and also our social channels. So, please give us a follow. Thank you for everyone that that joined in. Uh. It's been a lot of awesome, like, I, I think one giveaway from this whole stream is that um, we... Uh, giveaway. Work, uh, sorry, not giveaway. Take away? One takeaway <laughs> that we have from this whole stream is that, I mean, we work with so many great artists and great minds, and uh, to actually come together and make an event for you guys and have a digital event, a cohesive uh, idea, and make it into reality, uh, and also giving you these announcements, I think it's awesome that we we're able to provide that. So thank you to you guys for the support. Thank you to Sonako. Thank you to Mizuno. Uh, thank you to our design team. Thank you, Rain, uh, Alex, uh, localization oh. team. Come on, guys. Come on. Where's Alex? Is Alex here? This is a send off. Oh, oh yes. We got wow. to the boys. Let's come in. Let's say thank you to Electric by Orchestra. Should I leave? Should I not be in here? Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, we're no, breaking no, 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 the no, no, no. Okay, we're back. You guys want to come in? I don't. What should I do? Hello, there's David. There's Ray. There's Alex. Yay! Thank you, everybody. There's Shay. Oh. Now, where's? Oh, sorry, I'm so loud. I forgot. I was like right next to them. Like, there's. Okay, Robbie just <laughs> has you. to be there. Thank you. Yay! Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you. The gang's all here. Yes, the squad. <laughs> Yay, thank you, everybody. I wish I had, like, the song to play, but it's just silent right now, isn't One it? One more. <laughs> One more <laughs> bite <laughs> tonight. <laughs> What's the rest of it? Uh. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Yay, let's all. Yes, I need, I need to, yes. I need to. Uh, yeah, sorry, wow, we can't. <laughs> Yay! Bye, everybody. <laughs> also, eat everybody. It's like I think everyone said they were hungry, so.